host, it's Andy! Welcome, welcome the one and all Let's to the wonders the that will be our 80s flashback <laughs> party. But uh, before we go any further, people are taking pictures, that's not normal, alright, that's fine. Um, so, welcome my friends to our final night together. Aww. Sadder than that, I said it's our final night together. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, however, I just need to quickly find out, did you guys enjoy your cruise? Did you have fun? Yeah? Perfect, because, uh, to be honest, my job's pretty weird on this ship, because I get to hang out with you, the adults, right? And, um, and I, I, I barely ever see the kids. But I've just been down at Till We Meet Again. Was anybody there for Till We Meet Again? Our little character meet and greet, was anybody there? The madness that it's used. Well, uh, I, I feel the need to share this with you, because I thought it was lovely. Uh, I, I was stood, not dressed like this, but I was stood down at Till We Meet Again, and, and I had a, a little girl, and she came running up to me, and she tugged me on my sleeve, and she goes, Andy! I said, yes. She goes, Andy, I just want to say thank you. And I said, well, you're welcome. I've done nothing for you. You're like eight years old. I've done nothing for you all through, so, but you're welcome. And she goes, no, no, I just wanted to say thank you, because my parents have never been happier, so thanks. Which I thought was nice. I thought that was good. Um, and so, so we got into a bit of a conversation, and I asked her, what, what's, what's some of the best things you've done on cruise? And she listed off all these different things, so they had a load of fun. They went to Alcatraz in San Francisco, and they went and did all these glorious things around the ship as well. They met Anna and Elsa and that, and that. And in fact, I said to her, what's the best thing in the entire cruise? all five nights of it, what was the very best moment of your entire Disney Cruise vacation? And she had a bit of a thing for a while, and then she said, the best part of my entire cruise was when I met Anna and Elsa. And I went, oh, that's great, that's great. It's, it's nice that you get to meet Anna and Elsa. Yay, whatever. Um, so, yay, wonderful, hurrah. And, and I said, it must have been pretty exciting to meet Anna and Elsa. And she goes, yes, it was exciting. I said, well, how exciting was it? I said, no, I'll ask that question. She goes, it was so exciting. I said, yes. She said, it was so exciting. I went, hurry up, 80s flashback starts soon. She goes, it was so exciting. I peed. She peed. In front of royalty, she just, she let it go. That's what happened there. <laughs> I don't know about you, but uh, I said this last night. I, I'm a mixture of, of British and Disney, so in an awkward situation, like, in an awkward situation like that, I don't really know what to say. And this is these are the exact words that carry out of my mouth. I went, oh, um, well, I'm glad we made your dreams come true and just walked away. I didn't know what else to do. What else do you do in that situation? I think what I should have said is, oh, you should have made yellow snow. Anyway, um, <laughs> Gross, I'm so sorry. We're not you know, cruise on that note. Okay, um, <laughs> my friends, I hope that it means if your kids have had a great time, a it means that no you've problem. had the opportunity to relax and enjoy yourselves, and hopefully when you go back to jail tomorrow, uh, you'll all actually have some nice memories to take away with you. That's the plan. That's why you come here. But right now, we're about to get going with our final event of the cruise. My friends, if you're nice and ready, it is now time for the final countdown! <laughs> And everything. I know you're welcome. They're here, you need to put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. These are three of the fabulous crew staff team! I have. Oh, this is lovely. It's a nice number. Oh, I'm oh, happy. We're going to clap. We're going to need to clap. It's done. We're good. We're fine. Because before we go any further, we're going to get stuck. Get stuck. Right. Because, before we go any further, before we start any questions, la, 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 I need you to figure out who these lovely ladies have come dressed as tonight, because we are all 80s megastars, would you believe it? So, I think what we should do is start over here with Lily from your crew staff team. Please give Lily a big round of applause, everybody. Thank you for your love. Lily, uh, I just need you to shout out some suggestions. Who do you think Lily is come dressed Cindy as? Cindy Lauper! Madonna, Debbie Gibson, who else? Just Cindy Lauper! Cindy Lauper, interesting. Anyone else? Tiffany! M Madonna, let's stick with Madonna. All right, let's find out. Lily, would you please reveal yourself? Uh, please tell us, who have you come dressed as tonight? Madonna! Madonna! 
Dressed as tonight. Pat Benatar. Uh, Pat Benatar. Nice. That's uh, an interesting choice. Anybody else? <laughs> Debbie Gibson is as far as we've got there. Right? Okay. Paula Abdul. Pa Paula Abdul. <laughs> Paula Abdul. Okay. Um, I tell you what, let's just put you out of your misery. Charlotte, please tell us who have you come dressed as tonight? Bonnie Tyler. Bonnie Tyler. Woo! She's holding out for a hero and everything. All right, there you go. However, we now finish right here in the middle with the lovely Christina from your crew star team. Please give Christina a big round of applause. Who do we think Christina has come dressed as? You said Shirley Temple. That's funny. I enjoy that. That's brilliant. Uh, <laughs> little Miss Piggy. Aww. Whoever said that, be ashamed of yourself. Who do we think? Who do we think? Someone said RuPaul. This is getting worse. <laughs> anyway, Christina, uh, Christina, honey bunny, tell us, who have you come dressed as tonight? Well, it's not Koala Deville, like somebody said outside. Uh, it's uh, Kylie Minogue. She's Kylie Woo! Minogue. Yeah, her. Anyway. And, and just out of curiosity, because I've come dressed as someone tonight as well, who do you think I've come dressed as tonight? <laughs> who is it? Beetlejuice, you can pipe down, sir, all right? <laughs> Who said Harry Potter's dad? I will find you. I will find you. How great is that you? Rod Stewart, who's well known for being a ginger. Good work, sir, all right? George Michael! Anybody? Who? But actually, you're all gone. For some apparent reason, I am, and I don't know why, Mick Jagger. Go figure. Go figure. Go figure. However, we're now going to get down to our game, and this is how it's going to work. We're going to split you into three teams. So everyone, who, if you can see this pole right here, there's a lovely pole right here. Everybody this side of the pole, you are now team number one. Team number one makes noise! That's good. That means everybody between the two poles, you are now team number two. Team number two makes noise! And that means everyone who's <coughs> left. Hello, you are team number three. Let's rise. Okay, now this is how this is going to work. Just like our other music trivia's we've had on board, we're going to play some clips from the 80s, and you just have to let your team captains know what you think the song title and the artist are for each of those tracks. And if you get it right, I'm going to give you five points. Woo! I know. <laughs> However. If you get it right, and when I say if, I mean when you get it right, because these are easy. Uh, when you get it right, you're then going to play for bonus points. Awesome! I know. Now this is what's going to happen for bonus points. When you get the correct answer, we're going to play the rest of the song. And it's during the rest of the song that you, as a team, get up out of your seats. You do something wild, something creative, something as a team, but most importantly, you're going to do something safe. Okay? Now that, by that, I mean, look, I just pointed out these two poles. You don't get to climb them as King Kong. You don't get to pick up the crew staff team. You don't get to throw me around over your heads because we are fragile. But the idea is that you have to try and impress me with what you do as a team so that I give you bonus points. And here's the deal. Bonus points go anywhere from 10 to 100 bonus points. Whoa. I know. So, the more you do to impress me, the more likely I am to give you bonus points. And honestly, you could really just win this game solely based on what you do for bonus points. You don't need to get any questions right. You just need to do whatever you can to get bonus points. That sound good? Yeah, it does. So, we're going to start over here with team number one. So if you're ready, this is team number one's 80s mega hit. Here. You just need to let your team captains know, I have no interest. And team captains are going to go out to their teams, they're going to go out to their teams and find out what they're going to be doing to score those bonus points. Oh, team three are huddling, I like that. Alright, Lily, tell me, what is team number one's answer? Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Billie Jean by Michael Jackson gets team number one, five points! 
this is where we play the rest of the music. Yay! So this is where you get up and do stuff. Oh, nice. Scene three, I like it. There you go. Scene two, the confused. I don't know what scene one I'm doing. Stop there, let's stop there, let's stop there. Give yourselves a round of applause, everyone. That was not bad, that was not bad. Um, so obviously getting it right, team number one, you get yourselves five points. Yay! Now team number two, you all sat there when the music started and you had no idea what you were doing. You were just, you were confused, okay? But what you did manage to do in the, in the entirety of that clip is move some furniture, which is... <laughs> Very helpful, I'm sure. So, what I'm going to do is, as a reward, I'm going to give you mm, 17 bonus Whoa! points, right? 17 bonus points just for moving some furniture. However, we're going to come back to you. Uh, let's go over here to team number one, because you, you, you took your time, but you got up. Some of you were attempting to do the moonwalk, although it didn't just look like you had a heel issue, um, and like you need to visit a chiropodist. Uh, but I enjoyed it, and so as a result, I'm going to give you 19 bonus points over here, 19. However, team number three... We've got you guys up, out of your seats. You are all doing the sprinkler as a team. It was a coordinated effort. I'm impressed. 21 bonus points. That's how this works, people. So let's come here to team number two. Team number two, this is your 80s mega hit. Here. Oh. What do we think? What do we think? Let your team captain know. Other teams, this is your chance to huddle up. Figure out what you're going to do to get those bonus points. Wait. Team number three is just migrating towards each other, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Kylie! G'day! Tell me, what's going on? G'day mate, how's it going? <laughs> that was a good attempt. Okay, it's um, Venus... Bananarama. Venus by who? Right, let me clear this up right now. The correct, the correct pronunciation is Banana Rama. Thank you. So, as a result, we're getting Venus Banana Rama. Team number two, you just got yourselves five points! I don't know whether you fear it. Don't fear the dance floor, for the dance floor does not fear you. Um, however, what you did do is you all decided to have a nice shave, which was lovely. You got the legs shaved, some of you were shaving your armpits, which was... Look, some of you were shaving your shoulders, different, and I liked it. So as a result, I'm going to give you 25 bonus points right there. Now, now team number three. who are now fourth, known as the drinking team. <laughs> you, you had two things going on. There was like a, a ringer of a roses going on up here, and then all of you were then praying to Venus right here. It was delightful. Oh, were you the shell clam that Venus was coming out of? No? No. Well, in that case, it didn't work. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you were worshipping. The men were worshipping the ladies. Yeah. All right, girl power. All right, all right. Um, uh, 
over here then, team number three, I'm going to give you 27 bonus points. 27. For team number one. Team number one, you not only did something as a team, which was lovely, but you had a conga line to Venus by Banana Rama. Officially the very first Bononga line that I've ever seen. So, as a result, I'm going to give you 29 bonus points. There you are. Team number three, we come over to you. This is your 80s mega hit. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I heard it. Maybe, maybe moving furniture in the middle of the aisle is, is a bad idea, I'm just saying. Yeah. But there you go. Safety begins with me and C. Fabulous. Shana, come and tell me, what do we think it is? Um, I do think it's Blondie Call Me. Blondie Call Me. Team number three for saying Blondie Call Me. You just got yourselves. Five points! I don't really know. Um, uh, um, okay, for some reason, team number three, you decided to come down onto this dance floor and, and do the thriller dance. <laughs> to, to call me by Blondie. Nothing to do with Michael Jackson or Thriller. But hey, it's nice to be creative, am I right? So, just for doing that, I'm going to give you 30 bonus points, haven't you? Yours. Team number two, you, you, you're taking your time getting to the dance floor, but when you get there, you always find yourselves blocked by the other teams. You're like, yeah, let's do that. Oh, wait, everyone's in the way. All right, never mind. It's all about the speed, people. It's all about the speed. So the deal is, you got onto this dance floor, all like the seven inches that, the, that was left, and, and you were all on your phones, because it was Call Me, which makes sense with the sun. <laughs> Um, so, here's the deal then, uh, for, for actually doing something that makes sense, I'm going to give you 33 bonus points. For team number one, and team number one, I don't even think they realised how creative they were being, but they got up on this stage and they sent a wave because they were connected because they had a great reception. Right? They were, they, were, they were performing science art. That's what it was. It was science art. So for team number one, I'm going to give you 35 bonus points. Alright, we come back over to team number one. This is your 80s mega hit. Here! Yeah. Come on! Come on! Oh, team two again. Oh, they're ready. Team two are poised like springs. Liliana. Tell me everything. Never gonna give you up by Rick Astley. Never gonna give you up by Rick Astley. Wait! I said go, sit down. Oh, you're eager, but I like that. Look at you, this is like the Olympic team now. Right. Rick Astley, never gonna give you up, gets team number one. <laughs> 